Hello everyone, my name is Mathis Irondil and welcome to River Blossom Hills, 50 years in the future. This is a save file that I've been working on in which 50 days or 50 years have uh, progressed from the beginning of the game. All the families that you start uh, the game with are still around. You know, you have the Viejos, the, uh, the Roths, the Wands, the Gregors, Greenman. Uh, all, all the families are still around. And I do have a few others, but we will get to those when we get to it. And I just wanted to show you guys around a little bit, show you all the uh, events that have happened in River Blossom Hills uh, since the game started. And there is a part one of this video. This isn't really part two. This is more of a just a, a sequel-ish kind of video. But I did have a River Blossom Hills 25 years later, I think it was. So if you enjoyed this, maybe check that one out to see how things progressed back then. And I also have a, a Strange Town 50 Years in the Future, too. So I, I just enjoy playing The Sims uh, for a long period of time so we can see the families progress and things like that. Uh, but let's enough talking. Why don't we go ahead and hop into the first family, the one that most people play first, and one of my favorites, not for the beginning, but for the things that can happen afterwards. Because you start with two elders. Elders don't do too much, but, you know, things can progress after... Um, that. So let's go ahead and hop into 204 Old Farm Road and check out the Viejo family, who really aren't the Viejos anymore than the Martins, but you know it's close enough. All right, and we are going to start with the patriarch of the Viejo family. Uh, actually, get up, please. <laughs> Andrew, get up. <laughs> you can't go to bed yet. Um, yeah, this is Andrew Martin. He is very, very old, as you can see. Uh, probably going to be dying here in the next day or two. <laughs> uh, he's still a gamer. He's a real-time strategizer, level 8 in the gamer career. And he's not super happy at the moment, and that's because his uh, wife uh, just passed away not too long ago. Um, Cleo died. And then he saw the ghost of Cleo. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that was very unfortunate of him for him. He's not doing too hot. Um, he's very sad. Uh, but then you do have his son, Jacob Martin. And Jacob is doing a little bit better. He's sleeping in the middle of the day. Uh, but like his father, he's in the gaming career. But he's doing better than his father. He's a guild leader in some um, MMO, whatever he plays. Uh, the, the Sims 2 version of World of Warcraft is probably what he plays. But yeah, and our Jacob then married Sandra Roth. Sandra, where are you going? Are you hungry? Why are you thinking about food instead of getting... I don't know why everybody's going to sleep right now. I don't know why everybody's tired for anything for right now. But, uh, yeah, Sandra uh, married and, or Jacob, and they've had a pretty good relationship. There was a time where I thought that uh, Jacob might leave her for uh, Jules, but he, he ended up sticking with Sandra the entire time, which I, I think is good. Uh, they've had a, a really good life here. Now, Jacob and Sandra have three children together. They have Elena, Cassidy, and Mort. Mort is, of course, named after his grandfather, Morty Roth. Uh, Elena does not live here. Uh, she lives with uh, Justin Kim uh, from the Kim household. I moved them into uh, River Blossom Hills. And we won't go into their household. I like. I'll only be focusing on the main households unless like there's something specific. I can just show you the family tree. But yeah, Elena married Justin Kim. And they have together a little boy named Andrew. And of course, Andrew is named after his great his great grandfather, uh, <laughs> Andrew Martin. Uh, Cassidy, however, Cassidy is not in a relationship, well, kind of in a relationship with Frederick Will Williamson. They're not engaged. They don't really have any need to get engaged. Uh, Cassidy is a fortune sim. All she really cares about is making money. It's all she cares about uh-oh, I think I hear a train coming. Yeah, that is definitely the downside of living this close to a railroad. Uh, there's just trains all the time. Uh, but yeah, all that Cassidy really cares about is making money, and she she has her own business. She is a uh, seamstress, and she makes, uh, you know, curtains, dresses, and things like that. Uh, so, And she's doing pretty well. She doesn't have a great handle on sales, but... I, I'm so sorry, Andrew. <laughs> I'm so sorry, man. 
Uh, but yeah, other other than that, she's doing pretty well. And that is the Viejo family for the moment. Uh, the, like, there is Mort. Um, Mort doesn't have a whole lot going on, though. He is in the university. Um, I'll go to the, the university to talk about them later, but there's not a whole lot going on. They just literally started university. They're all freshmen. Every sim in this town is a freshman at the moment. All right, so next we're going to be moving into the uh, McGregor household at 115 Old Farm Road. Uh, Loud is uh, no longer with us. He passed away, uh, but this is his family, so we'll go ahead and uh, discuss them a little bit. All right, so this sim here... If she'll go ahead and get her uh, clothes on instead of using the restroom. Uh, this is Camden McGregor. She is the daughter of Loud and Alexander Tetherton. Uh, so after Alexandra kind of got enough out of her system, she came back to River Blossom and, you know, was looking around to see what she could do. And she ended up meeting uh, Loud and they kind of hit it off. I didn't really expect that to happen, but they absolutely hit it off. I don't know if she was just into him for the money, which he didn't have a whole lot of money at the time. Yeah, I know he's in the shower. It's okay, Camden. Uh, but she absolutely uh, fell for him. They got married, and they had a really good marriage for as long as it lasted. Uh, Loud did marry uh, one of the Viejo elders it might have been i can't remember their names it's been so long um he married one of them I, uh, goldstein I, I think that was her last name is who he married i'm pretty sure uh but then after she passed away he did marry alexandra yeah camden that's great now camden here married aster greenman and we'll talk about aster and his family once we get to the household uh but together it's going to be loud because she's going to be playing the computer here. Together, Aster and uh, Camden have Maeve McGregor. So this is this is loud and Alexandra's uh, granddaughter. Kind of looks... Eh. I don't really know where her face comes from. Uh, like, I think Camden probably looks a lot like Alexandra. I think that's where she gets most of her face from. And Maeve, probably the same. But also, some of it probably did transfer from Aster. Um, but really all that really happens here is that, uh, Camden is in politics. She is a campaign manager. Uh, but then they also, Aster is unemployed. He's a romance sim, which I'll show you something about Aster here in a second. Uh, but they just run this little, little farm shop. Uh, this was, uh, Loud's farm shop. He would you know, grow his vegetables and then sell them here. And so everybody in town constantly has fresh veggies in their inventory and I have to stock them every round. Uh, but interestingly, Aster is a romance sim, but all of his wants and stuff, all, everything he ever wants is nothing to do with romance. He doesn't want anything to do with any other woman or man or anything like that other than Camden. And if we look in his memories here, we'll see that he has good memories of getting married. I mean, that's getting married to a rich sim, but even engaged, he has good memories about getting engaged to Camden. I don't understand that. And if you look here, uh, into his aspiration, uh, aspiration rewards, he's, he's, he's not like a secondary or anything. He's pure romance. So I don't know what's going on with him. I don't know if maybe his wife is just so fantastic for him that he just can't think of it anyone else, but that's the way it is. But yeah, that is the uh, McGregor household, and we will move on to the next. Okay, we are at the Omaki household, and this is a fun one. Uh, of course, Gabe is gone, uh, so is Patricia. Uh, but we will talk to them in a little about them in a little bit, because that will be over at the Juan household, right? So we're going to hop in, because this is Jules' house. This is Jules continued the family and she continued living in this house. So we'll talk about Jules here. All right, so here is Jules Omaki, or as she's known now, Jules Barrett. Now, Jules, <laughs> I don't know what was up with her. You know, she used to have a thing with uh, Jacob Martin. They dated for a while, they broke up. Jacob ended marrying Sandra Roth. And then Jules married 
Ethan Barrett. And he was an elder when they met. She was probably 30 years old. I don't know. They just had a lot of chemistry, and it was kind of out of my control with ACR. They got together. She got pregnant, so I was like, okay, I'll just let them get married. They want to get married, so I'm just going to let it happen. Um, <laughs> but then, of course, um, Ethan, being an elder, died. <laughs> And uh, while their kid was still a, a kid. And uh, that is Gemma Barrett. And we'll talk to Gemma when we get, once we get to her. Because she's actually living in the Wan house. Um, she's living in the house her grandfather lived in for most of his life. And we'll get to that once we get there. Like everything else. Mm. I just got an email. <laughs> but yeah, so Jules has written a ton of books. Because you know that was her whole thing. She wanted to read... You know, these are all the books that she's written. You can see Golden Child, I Marry a Plant Sim, which we'll get to. Wilting Leads, The Blossoming. So, Jules was obsessed with Daisy Greenman. You know, she thought it was so cool, these plant sims, and how her uncle had married a plant sim, and they didn't have a, a kid together. So this is where this is kind of funky. Uh, but she... She became so obsessed with Daisy Greenman that when Daisy had her own plant sim baby, which is Marigold here, she just obsessed over so much they fell in love, which is weird. I know it's weird, but it happened. And she ended up uh, fostering a romance with uh, Marigold. And the way that I play with plant sims is that I have plant sims, can they can bud on their own if they want to. But they can also take in the DNA of whoever, of their lover, if they want to, regardless of gender. So Marigold here took in the DNA of Jules, and together they had a child, uh, Dandelion. And I changed his last name to Gold's Child because he's, he wasn't a Barret, because that's not Jules' last name. I could have named him uh, Dandelion O'Mackey, that could have worked. And, I mean, he's not really a Greenman either, because he's... You know, a combination of these two. So I gave him his own unique last name. And this is Dandelion Gold's child because he's Marigold's uh, son. So yeah, he's in university, so we'll get to him too. But yeah, that's that's kind of it. Uh, Jules doesn't have a job. She doesn't really need one because she makes plenty of money from her books. Uh, but uh, Marigold is in the... She's a general practic practitioner in the medical fruit. So everybody's doing fine in this household. And then when uh, uh, Dandelion comes back or Dendillion, as one of the uh, audiobook readers for The Witcher would call him. <laughs> uh, when he comes back from college, everything's going to be amazing in this household. They're going to go... Yeah, everything is just going great. This is such a good town. <laughs> Everybody is having a good time and having good lives. I know that Andrew Martin is feeling upset at the end of his life, but that's just how things roll. So we'll go ahead and we'll move on to the next family. All right, and moving on and continuing on from the Omaki family, we're going to move into the Wan family with Gemma Barrett and another Sim. So we'll see who that is on 202 Welsh Lane. So yeah, this is Gemma Barrett. That's Jules and Ethan Barrett's uh, daughter. She is, uh, she's probably like, yeah, she's, I think that's like 29-ish. I think that's, if I calculate my things correctly, she might be like 29 um, and just like her mother, she has a thing for older guys, and she is in love with Christian love. Uh, she has no want to get married or anything like now, she's just having fun with him, but if she does get pregnant, I'll have to move him into the household just so we can age. I mean, I know I can, you know, use, you know, my, and manipulate him till he dies, but I'll probably end up moving him in. Uh, but she is having a pretty good life. She has no job. She doesn't need one, because, you know... <laughs> Her grandfather left her a good amount of money, but they she uh, she shares it with Susan O'Mackey, and this is uh, Gabe and Patricia Wan's um, daughter. The, uh, Gabe and Patricia never got married. They stayed together the the entire time. They just never got married. They never never had a want to get married. And, and you know, why force it? They have everything they want. They have a good house. They have plenty of money. You know, they never never needed it. Uh, but yeah, this is their only daughter together, uh, Susan. And Susan is a city council member in the politics career. And currently she is in a relationship with Alvin Roth. Alvin Roth, who is a member of the Roth family. Uh, but 
nothing will probably ever come of that other than, you know, she has a kid with him. Uh, cause Alvin kind of is a player. <laughs> so, yeah, he... I doubt that he will ever ask her to marry him. Uh, but we'll see down the road if, if anything happens. Uh, but yeah, that is the Roth family. Uh, pretty good family. Uh, Gabe and Patricia had a good life. They did. They died relatively recently. Uh, with that Jason. Jason died. Um, trying to remember when, when did they die. Yeah, so it, it was uh, shortly before... Um, Susan went to university, so it wasn't too long ago. Because she's, she's like, maybe 24 years old. She's definitely not very old. <laughs> but yeah, we'll go ahead and move on to the next family. Alright, and speaking of Alvin Roth, we're going to check out the Roth family. Uh, Morty and... Oh, gosh. Stella. Morty and Stella are both gone. Uh, Morty was gone in the last video that I did, because he died suddenly out of nowhere, and I still don't know why he died. Um, it wasn't starvation or anything like that. It was, I think it was old age. I can probably check in Sim PE, but I'm too lazy to do that. But yeah, he just died out of nowhere. But anyways, let's go ahead and hop into uh, 208 Welsh Lane and check on the Roth family. All right, so here we are. This is Xander Roth. He is one of the Sims that started the family, and he is getting pretty old. He's about to become an elder. Uh, he is unemployed, but Roths have a ton of money. Mostly what he does, he just farms all day. All day, that's all he does. He's just farms. Right now, he's got a bunch of strawberries because I put them all in the fridge. But yeah, I think he has a gold badge. Yep. And he, he makes... We have plenty of money. He doesn't need a job and he doesn't care anyways. He's a family sim and he's he's had a pretty big family. Uh, he ended up marrying Virginia Roth. Uh, or This is a uh, Virginia Gothier. And I thought it was funny because the Roths are kind of a play on the Goth family. And <laughs> her last name was Gothier. I just thought it was a... A little bit of a coincidence, kind of a funny joke, uh, but she was a teen townie uh, that uh, Xander met and fell in love with. Together, they have three children. Alvin Roth, who I talked about earlier, uh, he's in the shower right now. Get Trenton, get out of the bedroom. Your brother is taking a shower. Uh, but yeah, Alvin is a romance sim, and he is a bit of a player. He has a romantic relationship with Susan O'Mackey, with LaShawn, I uh, can't pronounce that last name, and with uh, Solveig Lawson. And I think that's it for the moment, but who knows what else he'll end up with. Uh, he is definitely a player in this town. So that's why I was saying he probably will never um, marry or get together, like, officially with uh, Susan O'Mackey. Uh uh, Xander and, oh my gosh, <laughs> Xander and Virginia's second child is Morticia Roth. Morticia is named after Morty. I think she is the one of, I think, I can't remember if there's three, two or three kids named after Morty in this house or not. But the reason why she is named after him specifically is because she was born on the day he died. That mysterious fate of when he Morty Roth died. Same day, Morticia was born. That's why she was named after him. And she is also a romance sim like her older brother. And right now, she just has a thing with Daniel, another name I can't pronounce. Uh, but that's not official. She can definitely find somebody else like uh, Jonah Powers. Even jo Jonah's quite a bit older than her. Uh, it's definitely a possibility that she might get on with Jonah here. Uh, Jonah is a romance sim. He is one of the uh, university sims in uh, Academy La Tour, I believe. And I, I'm trying to get uh, sims, university sims, into the town very slowly. Um, but he has an, op like an open relationship with um, his girlfriend. Uh, what's her name? Powers is her last Or not Powers. Sharp is her last name. I can't remember. Uh, but they have an op open relationship, and so it's very possible that Morticia might, you know, have something going on with Jonah. The youngest of the Roth kids is Trenton Roth, and he's a good boy. <laughs> he's a popularity sim. Uh, he's got, currently has a, if my things quit messing up, 
Uh, he, he's currently dating Melanie Sharp. Melanie Sharp is an, the daughter of two more uh, University Sims. Uh, Delilah O'Fief, and I can't remember her father's name. He's, he's sharp. He's like, he's a nerdy sharp. Edwin. Edwin Sharp. There we go. Um, those were her parents, and they're currently dating. Uh, she will probably go to university because I think she's a knowledge sim, like her parents, but I can't remember. Trenton will probably... Trenton is going to be going to college. Trenton is going to be going to college because this is the last day of his life and the way that I play on the last day before they turn into the uh, the next stage if they if they roll the one to go to college he's going to college so Trenton you're gonna go to college buddy if they're a knowledge sim I automatically send them to college but but yeah so that is the Roth family they're still pretty rich they're pretty big uh, if Alvin has his way they'll end up getting even bigger but yeah so let's go ahead and move on to the next family all right, so now we're on to the last of the main families, the Greenman family on 110 Road. Uh, Jason and Rose are both gone. Daisy is still around, and let's check out these other Sims and talk about them a little bit. So yeah, here is Daisy. She is an elder. Uh, she's got a, a, quite a bit of life left in her, so she's good. Um, she is a gamer, so she works with uh, Andrew and Jacob. They'll come home with her from time to time. And it's, it's funny that a plant sim is a gamer, but, you know, she's she was a kid when they moved into Pleasant View, you know? So she grew up seeing all this stuff, seeing all the technology, so she just wanted to, like, put herself into that. You know, she's a knowledge sim anyway, so she wanted to learn all about, like, regular human society. Now, uh, Daisy never had any romance or anything like that. She just budded and had her own, uh, like, plant sim baby who was a... Uh, Marigold that we saw. So, uh, Dandelion is her uh, grandson. Now, Jason and Rose had, like, Rose took Jason, or, yeah, Rose took Jason's DNA and then she had two Sims, or two babies with him, twins, actually. One of them was Aster. Um, Aster took the, Oma or the uh, McGregor name because he felt like there was enough Greenmans in the town. So, Aster is a Greenman, but he took his wife's last name. Oleander is the other twin of uh, Rose and Jason, and he is currently at work. So, we'll check on him at 11 a.m. when he gets home. He's a marine biologist. And he married Maria, and I cannot remember Maria's last name. She was a dormy that he met in university. And they are completely into each other. <laughs> Well, she, she's more into him, uh, but they're both family sims, and all they want to do is have kids all the time. Um, I, I'm going to ignore this for right now because I'm not going to save this. Same thing. I'm not. I'm ignoring that. But yeah, all they want to do is have kids constantly, all the time. They've only had two, uh, but Maria and and uh, Oleana both desperately want to have more kids constantly. I don't see it right now on his, and she doesn't have it, but it keeps flashing up. I think they're too old for it, but if it happens, it happens. I have ACR and I have Risky Woohoo, so who knows what's going to happen. But they, like I said, they have two little ki or two children. This is Olive Greenman. She's another romance sim in the town, and currently she does not have like a relationship, but she does have a crush on Andy Martin. Andy is another of the Martin uh, family. Uh, family tree. We'll talk about him in a little bit because I think he's in university. If he's not, I'll talk about him out in the uh, the open world. The youngest of the family is little Rosella Greenman. And Rosella is a kid. Not much going for her. Uh, this is her personality. She's probably going to be uh, probably going to be a popularity sim if I had to guess. Maybe. Unless she is like her She's either a knowledge sim or a popularity sim. Uh, but, yeah, that that is the Greenman family. We'll wait for Oleander to get home and check on him. All right, yeah, so here is Oleander Greenman. He is one of the two children of Jason and... <laughs> okay, buddy, that was a weird animation. He is one of the two children of Rose and Jason Greenman. And, yeah, that is all of the main families that you start with in 
River Blossom Hills. I didn't talk about the Tetherton family because obviously she moved in with the uh, the McGregor family. Um, so now I'm going to hop out. Oh, look, here's, here's more Miracola here to greet her family. Uh, so now I'm going to head out into the open world and we'll discuss a little bit about the families that I moved in. Then we'll hop over to university and talk about the kids that are in university. Now, I said that I wasn't going to you know, show you all the families like in detail, so we'll just go over them really quick. This is the Sharp household. It is made up of Edwin and Roxy uh, Sharp. I couldn't remember her name. Uh, Edwin and Roxy Sharp, Sharp, who are siblings. Delilah O'Fief and... Uh, oh, gosh, what is his name? <laughs> I could just look. I told you a little bit ago. Jonah Powers. So... Jonah and Roxy never married. You know, they're probably never going to get married. Jonah is... They're both romance sims, and Jonah can look elsewhere. They have, they have an open relationship. Uh, together, though, they did have a kid. This is Timber Powers. And then Edwin and Delilah O'Fief also did not get married. That's just... They've never really wanted to. They never wanted to ask. And then together, they had Melanie Sharp. Here we have in this apartment building, we have the Indy Flexer family made of Mi uh, Max, in yeah, Max Flexer and uh, Mitch Indy. They ended up getting married and just hyphenated their name. And then a little bit down the line, they adopted little Serene here. And uh, Max and Mitch are from Academy Latour, just like the, uh, the Sharps and the Sharps Powers and O'Fiefs. This is the Martin family. This is Anthony Martin. He is the the son of Cleo and Cleo and uh, Andrew Martin. They had a kid after they ended up getting married. So he is Jacob's half brother. He ended up marrying the townie Arcadia Ibadi, and they have not had a kid yet. And I don't know if they'll ever have a kid. Uh, she is a knowledge sim, and he is a family sim. You know, they're probably gonna want to have a kid at some point. It's just never happened. All right, up here we have the Kim family. The Ki uh, Kim family is one of the families you get in the bins. I just wanted to get them in there because I've never played with them before. Uh, so we have Robert and his wife Cynthia here. They're both elders. Uh, they had Justin Kim at the start. You know, you start with these three Sims here. And then they also had another Sim, another son who is in university. So we'll get to him. Uh, but then Justin Kim married Elena Martin, who is the daughter of... Uh, Jacob and Sandra. And then those two together had Andrew Kim. Andrew is married or named after his grandfather, Andrew Martin. All right, and the last of the families that I have in this town is the Cat family. Uh, this is Tara Cat. She is one of the, also one of the Sims that was in the bin when you start the game. And she started with these three cats because she's the Cat family. And she ended up falling in love with Michael Kim, who is not in university. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. He is the other son of uh, Cynthia and Robert. And they are engaged, and they're going to get married very soon. So that is all of the Sims that I have in River Blossom Hills. And we'll go check out the ones in university real quick. All right. So here we are in La Fiesta Tech. Uh, these are the Sims that I have in the household. We have, of course, Dandelion. Dandelion Goldstrout, he is the child of Marigold uh, Greenman and Jules Omaki. And I don't have anything set up for them at all yet. They have not chosen their majors. They have not chosen the clothes that they're going to wear. So if they look a little weird, that's why. Uh, but Dandelion had has a relationship with Elizabeth Fuchs, who was a townie teenager that I moved in to be with him so they can age up together. I think she might have actually been like a cashier. I can't remember. Uh, and then, of course, here is Mort Martin, who is named after his grandfather, Morty Roth. And he had a relationship with, if I can find her in here. What? Why is Lily here? Hold on. So I'm not really sure why I had Lily Ol Olsh Olshki, uh moved into this dorm but she's a sim now apparently she's going to be a main sim in my village or in my river blossom hills because she exists in university and she's going to age up with them i don't know why 
I really don't know why <laughs> she's here. Uh, but yeah, so these are the, the Sims that I actually care about. <laughs> uh, Mort Martin, uh, Dandelion Goldschild, and his girlfriend, Elizabeth Fuchs. So yeah, that is my River Blossom Hills 50 years in the future. A lot has happened, and I've had so much fun. I'm definitely going to be continuing to play this on my own, uh, but I just don't know how much more can happen. It's just, it's so much. I love The Sims 2 so much. But Hello everyone, thank you for reaching the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, if you would consider leaving a like, that would help me out tremendously. And if you wanted to see more, maybe consider leaving a subscription. I plan on having tons more story-based content on this channel. Uh, Sims, Minecraft, maybe even Elder Scrolls stuff later in the future. I don't know. It's all up in the air. But thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.